Alright, welcome back everyone. So I have the Pontiac Grand Prix in the garage. I just did a waterless wash on it. It wasn't too dirty. I brought it in because I'm going to replace the vinyl overlay on the, on the front here. So I just give it a quick uh, wash to remove some of the dust and dirt uh, that I had on it. didn't have a lot of dirt on it. It's like, like a thin layer of dust. So that's why I just opted for a waterless wash. Then I just I was wiping it down with some showstopper. I'm just trying to use it up, make room in my cabinet for some more stuff eventually in the future but I'm, I brought it in because I'm going to replace this vinyl thing where I have the q-tip going over it but the reason uh, I'm making this video is because uh, so you guys all know that this thing has uh, a base layer of SPS graphene uh, coating on there and then it also has the um, SPS spray detailer I did put that on after the first wash and part of graphene's claims is um, not being able to water spot like a ceramic coating does uh, because some of this, uh, and I'm talking the um, silicon dioxide coatings, SiO2 uh, based coatings, those are susceptible to water spots. Well, I hate to break it to you guys, but graphene is susceptible to water spots, and this is the first time I've actually seen this um, on on a paint coating because I really haven't experienced water spots on ceramic coatings, and I'm seeing uh, them show up on on not just on the on the graphene stuff here, but also on on the roof there, my coating test. So I'm gonna point this out again this coating hasn't been on here for uh, that long I don't know if I can actually see it um, so I have the q-tip to kind of just show you where it's at in reference to, to that but I think yeah you guys can actually see the outline of a little etching there and so that's a water spot um, right in that area right here I lost it right around that light so that's a water spot on there and there's a few of them on here uh, and it's and I didn't see them in the sunlight or overhead. You know, there's some. There's another one right here. You know, they're 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 pretty much everywhere. So the garage lights are actually lighting them up more so than it is outside. And I, and I don't know if there's any more on this side. I didn't really look inspect this side um, very well. But if I go on the other side, you can actually see them over there too. Uh, there's a, they're on various spots. So over here, it's right here. I don't know if this camera's going to pick it up here very well. I don't think so. Because I'm looking at the, trying to get the right angle lighting on here. And I don't think it's going to focus on here. Focus, 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 camera, focus. There you go. That's a water spot. That's a water spot. Uh, this is just just a divot on the in the hood by a rock chip or something on there. Uh, there's a there's multiple ones um, in the center part here, and if I back out to this scoop, there's some more right here. I just noticed these, so they're kind of everywhere on this on this hood, and I saw some more. Yeah, there's one right here. There you go. So we're starting to get some uh, some water spots around here. There's there's one right here. I don't know if the light's gonna be able to light up. Yeah, there you go. You can actually see it right there before the camera starts to lose focus. And like I said, I was just looking at it. There's some more up here. You can actually see all these all these little ones here. So I just have the, the Q-tip as a reference point. Um, so that's what we got going on. So just so you guys know. Graphene coatings are susceptible to water spots, uh, just like a regular SiO2 coating. And if I go on the roof here, and, and I'm, I can't really tell um, where the brake line is from the, you know, the separation between the coatings on here. So I'm going to kind of stick a stab at it, but I think you know we've got some right here. You can actually see them here. There you go. This is Gian Can coat on this side. And then we kind of transition over to um, Synchro, and Synchro's got a, a few of them as well. And then Gion Mo's, believe it or not, I think is the next section here. Um, they're peppered. You can actually see them right there. Gion Mo's. Uh, 22 Peely Insanity. If this is the correct section I'm, I'm, I'm looking at here. There's the, the, the little spots I'm referencing. HPC's got a couple of them here. There's one right there. 
Okay, so let's go to the other side. I can't really see from the center of it. Uh, but if we go this way, um, this is uh, jade uh, quartz. I believe that's the separation here. If not, that's on the edge of Shine Supply. Um, and then the, the failed C quartz TIO2, you can actually see the the spots here. That's actually got the worst spots at that. I think they may that might be on the border of Adams. Uh, but again, uh, Adams is right around here somewhere. You can actually it's got some spots. And then the area here with the, the spray coating from Adams has some, some bigger spots. So I can't really tell on like the sea quartz stuff here with the light in here. And I don't have the step stool. And I mean, I see some here. So I don't know if that's the sea quartz section or the SPS section. But we got water spots. And this is like the first time I'm actually seeing them. And I think what they're doing is, if you look at my Camaro parked right here, I got these power lines running up here on top and they drip on the paint and so I think when it's dewy in the morning uh, you know they have a bunch of dirt in there and you can actually see those lines I'm talking about see these, these guys right here um, those will actually uh, drop water on there and if I don't see it plus it's been hot now and I'm starting to get into the 80s around here um, in Southern California my area and so we're starting to see some water spots so I just want to point that out that um, the bad news is the graphene coating has, is susceptible to water spots. The good news is it looks good um, and it still feels slick after just a couple of weeks or what is what I, what I have through two or three weeks on it already. So we're, I'm just gonna let it go. I'm not gonna polish them up, polish out the um, water spots. We're just gonna let it go and, um, and kind of just see how it holds up over time. Um, and then the coating test. I gotta put up my other video. I haven't had time to kind of edit that one to put all together of. Of the water behavior so again that's just the water spot uh, issue going on with the graphene coating so some bad news uh, on the graphene coating because we were kind of as detailers and enthusiasts whatever you want to call yourself we were hoping that graphene was a miracle product and that no water spots would happen on, on it but here we are at this point and we have some some etching going on so um, stay tuned for the next one and thanks for watching.